welcome to a new video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and thank you for taking the time out to click that thumbnail. Thank you so much for being here. How's everybody doing today? How was everybody's holidays? I can't believe we are officially in the year 2022, you guys. The years just fly by. I swear, the older I get, it seems like these years go by like months, rather. So, happy 2022 to all of you, my wonderful subscribers. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. I surely hope that you would subscribe. Let me know, how was your guys' holiday? How was your Christmas? I hope everybody had a safe and happy New Year's. So, now that the holidays have came and went, we are kind of unwind winding and getting back into our normal routine and with the new year comes new and exciting project pans that's what today's video is about is just basically sitting down and sharing with you guys kind of brainstorming some of my ideals for project pans for the year 2022 <music> You guys, before we get into this, make sure you like this video. And if you wanna see more videos from me, then make sure you're subscribed. I put out videos weekly, so you don't wanna miss out on all the fun. Also, make sure to check the down bar for all my other links to all my other social media platforms. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop on into the video. This video is just kind of an off cuff video. I really wanted to make it a point to sit down and get some some content filmed for you guys so I figured why not kind of share with you guys my plans for any kind of project pans for this year 2022 because a while back ago on my community tab I asked you guys and put up some poll options and asked what kind of content would you guys want to see more of from my channel and the majority of you had suggested to do some more project pan videos again what you guys ask for is what you guys are going to get i'm going to try my hardest to stay somewhat consistent and bring you guys some different project pans and stuff first of which will be definitely i'm going to continue to do is my pan that palette so this will be the 2022 pan that palette so I will have an intro video coming for that probably at the beginning of February. I'm going to be a month behind on that just because of some family things that have been going on at home in my personal life, which I will sit down at some point and also share a video on some things that have happened at home. But it really kind of pushed my scheduling back for like how I go about posting and picking my uh, PTPs. So how I like to do it is over on my Instagram, I will post new palette options every day on my feed and then whichever palette posts got the most likes is how I go about picking my PTPs. So I'm almost done with that and I want to kind of let the post sit on my feed for a good week or so so that I can see you know give them a chance to gain some likes and then whichever one has the most likes I will then come back sit down and film the intro and share what this year's PTP is going to be. So I'm definitely planning to continue to do a PTP. I can't wait to see what palette it's going to be, really. And I'm looking down at my notes, you guys. As always, I kind of just go off cuff and jot down a couple bullet points when I do my videos. I don't really script them or anything. It's kind of what you see is what you get. You guys know this. So if you see me looking down, this is why. So another option for one of 2022's project pans is going to be a pan that mini palette. So like around February or March of last year, I started a pan that mini palette. It kind of helped me to focus on some of my more smaller, like six to four pan palettes. I did really well with the project and then it just kind of faded off. So this year I'm really going to see if I can't recommit myself back into doing some kind of project pans to help me to just get some use out of this collection that I already own, which is still a very large collection. I don't plan to really put myself on any kind of no buy or low buy or anything like that yet. I don't feel um, it's necessary for me. I did do an 18 month long no buy and I have a playlist of that. I will put it in the cards if you guys want to go check it out. I was successful and did not purchase any makeup or anything for an entire 18 months. 
I don't feel I'm ready, really necessary, need to do a no buy or anything of that sort, but I do wanna continue to try to really help push myself just to use as much of my collection as I possibly can, and Project Pans were a great way to really do that. The next project that I plan to continue to do this year is my project that I created back in 2019, which is Project Rotate Your Stash. I also have a few videos I'll link in the cards for you guys on that video and that project and I really enjoy the project. I did plan to actually stop the project this year but I do have a group of women um, all in a chat and everything. We kind of support each other and cheer each other on over on Instagram and 98% of them wanted me to continue the project and wanted to continue it. So I went ahead and decided to continue the project going on for this will be the third year year now. It is just a great project. Very, very laid back. I'm even doing it more laid back this year than I have the previous years. Usually you'll pick five to ten products from your collection and you rotate through them each month, then deciding on whether you want to keep the product, pan it, or declutter it out of your collection altogether. Also incorporating on whether you want to keep the product in for another month, keep it in to pan it entirely, or just roll the product out and pick something else each month. I am just going to kind of do that more laid back. Some months were your choice on the products and some months were random and we kind of went about picking how we were picking the products each month just based off of every quarter or like the first year it was the first six months were your pick and the last six months were random. So this year it's really going to be solely up to you on how you want to pick your products and the number of products is however many products that you choose. Up to your discretion on how many products products that you want to use each month. It doesn't have to be five. It doesn't have to be up to 10. It could be three. It could be however many you like. So I really do enjoy Rotate Your Stash and will continue to do that. Now, all these projects that I'm going to run off to you guys doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be able to film videos over here on my YouTube channel for each one of them. Though, if you guys would like me to, also going to try to get back into uh, filming my 101 pans, which is actually next on the list. So another project that I want to kind of revamp and rebring back to life in 2022 is the remaining of the 101 pans, which I have 18 pans left to hit to get to 101 pans. I have hit a total of 83 pans so far since starting that project towards the end of 2019, or I plan to either do the 101 pans or just start something more simple and do like 22 in 2022. So 22 pans of eyeshadow I'm going to try to hit in 2022. Definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know which one would you guys rather see. Do you want me to revamp and restart the 101 pans? Not restart rather but just start with 83 pans and try to hit the 18 remaining this year or would you want to see 22 in 2022 brought over here as a video for you guys. I'm definitely curious and would love your guys' feedback on any of these projects. Please definitely give me some feedback and let me know in the comments on any of these that kind of spark your interest or some that you would possibly want to see over here in a video. If you want to join any of these projects, definitely let me know as well and we can get you going right away or just tag me on Instagram so I can see your posts however you want to do it. I'm pretty laid back about projects and whatnot. So I'm still trying to decide on if I do 101 pans or 22 in 2022. Either way, whether I do do the 101 pans or 22 in 2022, I'm going to randomly choose those eyeshadows, four to five eyeshadows a month. Just kind of focus on them until you hit pan, basically. Another option is going to be that I plan to want to continue is my one week, one palette. Now I did start that at the end of last year and was doing that over on my Instagram, but I was doing it rather uh, one week, two palettes. So it kind of got to be a little too much because it was two palettes. So I think this year, when I if I do decide to restart it, I'm just gonna do a one week, one palette. So it just gives me one palette to focus on each week 
instead of two. I think maybe by doing two, it got to be too much, so. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, because of just by naming off these projects or any of these project pans that I do or possibly may start, doesn't mean that I'm only gonna be solely focused on that one palette, let's say for one week, one palette, or just those, those shadows that are chosen for 101 pans and that's it. I'll always like to make sure I don't limit myself to certain projects, like only using my PTP all year round and that's it, just because I get bored very, very easily. <laughs> I have a very short attention span. So these are just different projects and ideas for ways to help me kind of, you know, incorporate project pans again this year and really help me focus on certain products in my collection, though not entirely if that makes sense just a way to kind of help me you know keep my focus and everything and keep my mind occupied on certain productive and positive things again again I do plan to share with you guys in a video what's been going on at home it's definitely been challenging nonetheless um, but we'll get to that I will share when the time is right another option for a project pan for this year is three looks one single so I really like the idea of doing a three looks one single because my single shadow collection has grown significantly this past year and I have so many beautiful single shadows from so many beautiful indie brands it's really hard for me to kind of reach for them and incorporate them in my makeup looks and stuff unless I like make it a point to pull them out a lot of times they just get neglected so I think by doing a three looks one single by focusing on one different single um, until I have achieved three looks with it just like a three looks one palette so to speak like I really enjoy doing that though I think I would rather do a uh, three looks one single this year so that's another option for a project pan Another option that I'm thinking and considering, now that doesn't mean I'm gonna be doing all of these projects. These are just some ideas that are brewing and that I would like to share and wanted to share with you guys. So another option that I am thinking of doing potentially is an alphabet pan. So back in 2019, I did the Beauty A to Z, I believe it was. And if I have a couple videos of that, I will also list that in the cards. I think I have a couple, um, but I did really enjoy the Beauty A to Z project pan. It was a fantastic ladies collab. You would just basically pick products from your collection based off of the alphabet. So if I would possibly do like an alphabet pan, I would pick eyeshadows, whether it be their name of the eyeshadow, the color, the texture of it based off of the numbers off of the alphabet so if i do do an alphabet pan i will definitely film that in a video for you guys as well so let me know if that would be something that you guys would like to see is an alphabet pan i think it if i do do an alphabet pan it would help me to have more discipline to sitting down and filming those videos each month or six weeks or whatever you know we decide to do it you know and this is again just these are just options whether it be 2020 22 and 2022 I don't know if I would necessarily pick all 22 eyeshadows at one time for 22 and 2022 and that's kind of why I like the 101 pants aspect better because I just pick four or five and focus on them at a time the next option for project pan for this year is a no pan left behind now I did no pan left behind in 2020 and then it went on into 2021 and I did really enjoy that project that was kind of where I just picked palettes from my collection and made sure to use every pan in that palette it was a great disciplinary project pan to really ensure that you know I'm using every single shadow in every palette that I own because that's really something that's hard to do and hard to achieve so that's another option for a project a couple more left is another one that I'm considering and thinking of and I just thought of this off top of my head is a project that I would like to call quads and corners so if it's not a uh, no pan left behind then it could potentially be a quad and corners project pan and basically what that would be is for example I'm just gonna use the Sahara and by Juvia's place for an example to show you guys so you have a better understanding of what that would consist of so quads and corners would basically be where you do looks and create looks based off of 
quads of your eyeshadow palette so like this quad or like this corner so these four and then these four or these four to create a look these four or any kind of quads in the palette however you choose to kind of quad them up i suppose and just call it quads and corners so i've really kind of been brewing and thinking of that ideal i kind of like that as a project pan ideal as well and then the last option and thing i kind of been thinking of as a project for this year is called og weekly it's you know just something that i've thought of actually i thought of quads and corners and og weekly a little while ago like over a year ago as well as three looks one single um and what og weekly would be is once a week i would pull out and use one of my older palettes from my collection because you know i have such a large collection of eyeshadow palettes you know a lot of the palettes are you know getting to the point where they're getting older in my collection so maybe by pulling out an older palette and focusing on one per week calling it og weekly so <laughs> so yeah those are some options for some 2022 project pans this year definitely have quite a few options there that i ran off to you guys again that doesn't mean that i'm going to do every single one of these these are all just thoughts that are brewing so if you guys have any kind of feedback or any that you really seem to enjoy or want to see me do definitely leave me a comment down below let me know what are some of your thoughts on some of these different project pans so with the new year also will be coming um probably closer to like march or april will be declutters again so i would like to try to declutter my eyeshadow palettes and just my makeup collection in general every year moving forward even if it's just five or six palettes from my collection so i will have some declutters coming again this year and it's just a great way to kind of get rid of makeup and products and stuff that i know i'm just not going to use in my heart of hearts like there are literally palettes that i have not used since my last year's declutter though i know it's really hard to do no matter how many different projects i try to incorporate just because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and if you haven't seen all the new palettes that I've acquired since my declutter video I will list that in the cards you guys seen I did get a hefty amount of new palettes last year in my collection as well so luckily I didn't surpass the number of palettes I decluttered which I decluttered a lot last year be sure to go check out those declutter videos I definitely did really good and got rid of a lot of palettes last year so I don't know what that number will be this year but I do plan to do some more declutters this year as well also incorporating more you know a few lifestyle videos in kind of sharing different experiences and things that are going on at home things about my recovery all of that jazz so you guys can get a feel of who I am as well behind the projects and behind the makeup and all of that you guys know I like to share everything with you guys it doesn't matter if it's makeup related personal life I really feel it helps to kind of give me a bond with you guys. I have a really great group of subscribers and your guys' support means truly the world to me. If you have stuck it out this long and have continued to stay subscribed to my channel, though I'm not able to get videos up every single week, it really means the world to me and I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. So that's everything for this video, you guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. And definitely let me know down in the comments what do you think of these different projects. Which one sounds interesting to you? Any that you are interested in joining? Or which ones would you like to see me potentially do? I know it was a lot of them, but it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be all of them. It can only have to be one or two of those, let's say, or two or three. So leave me a comment, let me know. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, don't forget to like it. And until next time, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.